Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to do problem on fluid mechanics. We're going to calculate the resultant force acting on a surface plane, and we're also going to calculate its location. These type of questions are important if you're taking the FE Civil, Mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking the fluid mechanics class. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, so we have a swimming pool with the following dimensions and we need to calculate the magnitude location of the net resultant force. So I would like to discuss two concepts before we actually start solving this problem. So the first one is note that your resultant force, it is not going to act on the centroid. So this is where your centroid is located as, it's denoted as C, and this, this is right here, that's uh, YC, and it's going to be 1.5 meters, which is half of your depth. Now the force, the resultant force, is actually going to act at the center of the pressure, which is going to be somewhere here, and let's call this CP. That's where you force, the resultant force is going to act. And now this distance right here, that's this, this, the location that we need to calculate, which is YR. So we need to find this and we need to calculate this. Another thing that you guys have to keep in mind that the resultant force has to always be perpendicular to the surface. Here it's easy and it's obvious, but when you have an inclined surface, make sure that your resultant force is always perpendicular this way. So we will discuss this more in the next video. So let's start solving this problem. So the first thing we need is the equation. So if you go to the reference handbook on page 109, you are provided the equations for these type of problems. Now, note here guys, for the location, YCP, this is same as YR. CP, as we mentioned earlier, is the center of pressure. So let's calculate for the force first. So we have F R net is equal to the density times G times Y C times sine theta times the area. For those of you who are taking fluid mechanics class or if you already took the class, you might not remember this equation very well because most of the fluid mechanics books, they actually use this formula where they, it's equal to the unit weight times HC times the area. Then if you have an inclined surface plane, you replace HC with YC sine theta. And if you just have um, a plane like this, then HC is equal to YC. So I just want to point this out just for those of you who are having a hard time remembering this. So that way you guys can make connections and it's easier for you guys to follow. But I'm still going to use this equation just because that's what's on the reference handbook and it's good for those of you who are taking the FE. So I'm going to still place this by the unit weight of the water because it's just easier to deal with. Then we have YC sine theta times the area. Now the unit weight of the water is 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meters. YC times sine theta. So this one, because we have a flat surface, so we have 90 degrees here, sine 90 is one. So and YC is equal to 1.5. So I'm going to write 1.5 millimeters times sine 90 degrees times the area, which is the depth, times your width, which is five. And this is meters squared because it's the units for the area. Now, note here, guys, the units add up. So we have meters squared times meters, that's meter cubed, cancels with this meters cubed, and you're left with kilonewtons. So if you plug in this, you should get an answer of 220.7 kilonewtons. Okay, so if you actually look at the solution right here, it's gonna, it's going to be either A or B. But as I mentioned here, your resultant force cannot be at the centroid, which means it cannot be at 1.5. So you could already tell the answer is going to be B. So it's just something you might keep in mind in case you get questions like this during the test. It will save you some time instead of like solving it. Okay, so now let's solve for the location. So we have YR, or you can call it YCP, they're the same thing, is equal to YC plus the moment of inertia, Ixc, divide that by Yc, times the area. 
So we have YC and we have the area. All we need to calculate is the moment of inertia. Now, if you remember from statics, the moment of inertia of a square or a rectangle is equal to BH squared over BH cubed over 12. So IXC is equal to BH cubed over 12. So B here is 5 meters. Now our H is 3 meters cubed and you divide that by 12. So if you plug in this, you will get an answer of 11.25 meters to the fourth. So now we can just go back here and just plug in the numbers in this equation so we can find the location of our force. So we have YC, which is 1.5 meters, plus the moment of inertia, which is 11.25 meters to the fourth divided by yc which is 1.5 meters times the area which is 3 meters times 5 meters so note here guys again the units cancels so we have meters times meters meters which is cubic meters cubic meters with the meters to the fourth cancels out so you left with uh with one meter here then you have meter plus meter gives you meter. So it's good, guys, to get into the habit of uh, working with the units because it helps you prevent mistakes, especially during the test. So if you add this up, you will get an answer of two meters. So that's going to be your answer. And just like I mentioned earlier, um, we already kind of guessed it was going to be B because we know that the resultant force cannot act at the centroid. Okay, guys, so make sure you do the problem before you check out the solution because the best way to learn something is by doing it. And also make sure you watch the whole video because we go over some very important concepts. And lastly, on the next video, we're going to do a very similar problem. However, we're going to have an inclined surface plane. So make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. And don't forget, a problem a day keeps the F away. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah,